Sometimes I have personal video content that I want my students to access through Moodle, yet I don't want it accessed anywhere else on the web. I know that if I post one of my videos to YouTube and set the privacy settings to private, I can share my video with up to 50 people. This is a problem as I typically have more than 50 students needing to access the content. Furthermore, private videos on YouTube can only be accessed by other users who have YouTube accounts. I also know that if I set the video to unlisted on YouTube, it won't show up in searches or on my channel, but the link can be shared throughout the web and be shared with any number of people. So YouTube doesn't necessarily solve my problem as I want an indefinite number of people to have access to my video but I only want it accessed through my Moodle installation. I have found a solution to this problem, and it is on Vimeo. Vimeo provides privacy settings that allow me to host videos only on domains that I otherwise specify. This means my content cannot be viewed on Vimeo by the public, links to the content cannot be shared on the web, and it can only be accessed through the domains that I have chosen or in other words, it can only be accessed on my Moodle course pages. This tutorial will first show you how to set the privacy settings of a video in Vimeo so that it can be accessed through specified domains and only specified domains, and then it will show you how to embed a Vimeo video in a Moodle course. By way of disclaimer, you must have a Vimeo Plus account. Vimeo Plus accounts will run you about $60 a year. Once you have uploaded a video to your Vimeo Plus account, you are going to need to change the privacy settings of the video. In Vimeo, access the My Videos page. Find the video wherein you would like to change the privacy settings. I will change the privacy settings of this second video right here. To access the privacy settings, click on the gear in the upper right hand corner of the thumbnail. This will take you to settings. You will be directed to the video settings page. On this page, select privacy from the navigation bar near the top. All right, now this is the page where we're going to have to make some changes. Remember, our objective is to change the privacy settings so this video can only be accessed through the domains that we specify. Or in other words, our objective is to make this video only accessible through our Moodle web pages. The first change you're going to make is under the Who Can Watch This Video section. Select the last option in this section. Hide this video from Vimeo.com. This prevents anyone on Vimeo from discovering your video. Next, locate the Where Can This Video Be Embedded section. We are going to want to select the last option in this section as well, only on sites I choose. A new field will appear. In this field, you're going to need to enter the domains that you want to allow this video to appear on. For me, I'm going to want my video to appear on bridgingedu.com, so I'm going to ensure that bridgingedu.com is entered in this field. Scroll down just a little bit. You come to a section entitled, Who Can Comment on This Video? I usually select no one. I'm not trying to build a community around my videos. I just would like to provide content to my students. Now, once you've made these changes, scroll to the bottom of the page and select Save Changes. You won't be directed away from the page, but you'll be directed back to the top. You will see a green horizontal bar that indicates that your settings have been saved. Now, once your settings have been saved, scroll again to the bottom and click on the Return to Video button. Here we are, we're at my video, it's set to private. We see the private banner in the upper left-hand corner of the video image. Now, we are going to embed this video 
in a Moodle course. So, in the upper right hand corner of the video image, you see the option to share. Select that. There will be a link, and that link will be highlighted. Copy that link. Navigate to your Moodle course. Here's my Moodle, here's my Moodle course, Foundations in Moodle. I'm going to scroll down in my weekly outline to the section where I'd like to add this video. And it is section 7. To add the video, in the Add a Resource drop-down menu, select the option for Page. All right, we've got a link copied, so let's get that link pasted where it needs to be pasted first. Scroll down on this page to the section labeled Content, and paste your link in that field. Once you've pasted your link in that field, highlight the link, and in the text editor, click on the actual chain link icon. A dialog box will appear. This is the Insert Edit Link dialog box. In the first field labeled Link URL, paste the link again. Once you've pasted it a second time, scroll to the bottom of that dialog box. Sorry, don't scroll to the bottom of that dialog box. Just click on Insert at the bottom of that dialog box. The link in the content section of this page will now be blue. This means that you have an active link. All right, there are two more fields that you need to fill out before we can save changes. First, we must give this page a name. I'm going to go back to my Vimeo account, and I'm going to copy the name of this video. Close this dialog box. There's the name of it right there. I'm going to copy the name of this video and I'm going to paste it right here in the field labeled name. I'm going to paste it again in the section labeled description. All right, so once we've provided a name, a description, and some active page content, scroll to the bottom of this page and select Save and Display. you'll be directed to the page wherein students can access your video. Remember, students can only access this video on this page within the Moodle installation. It cannot be found anywhere else online. To return home, click Home. And congratulations, you have embedded a Vimeo video in a Moodle installation and have provided access to that video only through your Moodle installation.